So here's your piece of wood. Um, you cut that bevel at 15 degrees on the table saw. It comes out this way. Your, your sign is laser engraved on this side, and then this board gl glues on the back like that. And all the angles work out perfectly. Why those angles work out perfectly is what I was going to go over right now. So again, here's my board. Cut at that 15 degree bevel. So here's the front view of my board. And then I'm going to draw the right side view right here. So here's the right side view. And I'm looking at the end here. So I'll draw a little bit bigger so everybody can understand that perspective. So this is um, three inches on that view. And then I cut it at a 15 degree bevel. So I cut it at a 15 degree bevel here. And then this dimension here is two inches from here to here. Eighth inch blade width. And then this is the remainder 7 eighths of an inch. And it started at three inches. So I had that 15 degree bevel. How that 15 degree bevel work that? You cut it. So this is 15 degrees off of vertical. So that angle right there was a 15 degree bevel cut. This is its complement, it's 75 degrees. Right. And then what I have here is two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Everybody understand the complement of 1575? So the first word is complement, and that means two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Okay. This is a great geometry, um, a lot of good geometry here. So what I have is, I have these two parallel lines. I denote parallel with a double set of arrows on them. So that says parallel, cut by a transversal. This angle right here is 75 degrees, the complement of the 15. This angle right here is its linear pair. So a linear pair are two angles that add up to 180. So a linear pair are two angles that form a straight line. So if this is 75, this right here is 105. So this angle right here is the same as this angle. That's called a vertical angle. So that's 75 degrees. And then, uh, Corey, what's the measure of that angle? 105 degrees. And how do you know that? Uh, because that at 75 plus 105 adds up to 180. Yeah, exactly. These two are supplementary or a linear pair. So those two are supplementary which is two angles that add up to 180 degrees. And then this angle right here is 75 degrees, because these two angles are called alternate, meaning uh, opposite sides of the transversal, interior angles. So those two are congruent. Those are alternate interior angles. And then, Michael, what's the measure of this angle right here? 105 degrees. How do you know that? Because uh, it's supplementary to the other angle. Yeah, exactly. That's the supplement of that. Or it's an alternate interior angle of this right here. Right? This angle right here um, is 105 because it's a vertical angle of that. So vertical angles are congruent. So we have vertical angles are congruent. And then... Congruent means the same measure, and the notation for congruent is equal sign with a squiggle. And finally, this is 75 here. So again, parallel lines, cut by a transversal. If I know one of the angles, I can find all the others. I have these two parallel lines that are the surfaces of the board. I cut them with the transversal, and then these angles right here, there's the front of the board, uh, will line up. Like that. Any questions on any of that? OK, let's just do one quick math problem here. Um, everybody have all this in their notes? Parallel lines cut by a transversal? OK, so with all that said, if I have a set of parallel lines, arrow, arrow meaning parallel to this, cut by a transversal, and the measure of this angle right here is x plus 10 degrees. 
And then the measure of this right here is x plus 80 degrees. Um, can I find all the angles from that? Yeah, so let's go ahead and find the measure of angle ABC. To find the measure of angle ABC. Okay, so everybody get this problem figured out? So we know this and this are 180. <coughs> These two are congruent. So if this plus this equals that 180, and this and this are equal, Jesse, it means this and this have to equal 180. So I set up the equation. One angle plus the other angle has to equal 180 degrees. And then I just solve. One of these and another one is two of them. 80 and 10 is 90. This is a great SAT style problem. Subtract 90 from both sides, 2x is equal to 90. And then getting this by itself, I divide both sides by 2, and I get x is equal to 45. How many people circle say answer A is the correct answer? Well, the problem is find the measure of angle ABC. So the correct answer is you take that 45 and you plug it in here. 45 and 10 is 55. That's a classic SAT type problem where you actually get the correct answer, but they're actually asking you for something else, and it's the answer C. 45 plus 10 is 55. Questions on any of that?